Hey, this is Jason with Call Telemetry, and today I'm going to show you the easiest way to block calls across your entire Collab environment, and we're not going to log into a single cube or make any partition CSS changes to our call manager. We're going to use a real-time policy engine for Cisco Call Manager to block those calls in real time. And our Community Edition lets you block calls for free. So head on over there, download the OVA, and let's get started. The appliance boots up and always shows the IP address configured on the box, whether that's DHCP or static. And we can open that IP address in a browser, click register, and create a new account locally on the appliance. Let's create a new policy called spam policy. The first thing we see about spam policy is that the health is never registered. Let's click on the policy URL to copy that link to our clipboard buffer. Now let's go to call manager and call routing external call control profile, and we're gonna add a new policy here. We'll name it demo video policy, and then just paste the link you got from Call Telemetry. Hit save. Refresh the page on Call Telemetry and the health is now registered, which means our policy integration is now successful. I'm gonna apply this to a phone, but you can also apply it to route patterns, or translation patterns, or any other directory number. So under 1001 here, we're going to select the external call control profile and select demo video policy and hit save. And now let's make a test call and make sure that our calls are hitting the policy correctly and I've called the phone. We'll refresh the page and we can see that the hits counter increases to one and we can see under the events that it matched no rule and the action was none. And that's a great start, but you're here to block calls, right? So let's block this caller. Back at the policy page, we can see that this policy will block our global MCID list because of the green check mark there and that can be edited under the policy. So let's go to CDR MCID management and add numbers to block. Whether it's one or a thousand numbers, we can add a number here or through an API on request. The description is optional. The calling pattern is 1000 in this case, and the destination pattern can be left blank to match all, or you can add a specific number to limit the rule. You can set a default expiration under settings here, but this rule never expires. As you can see, we're gonna block all calls from extension 1000. So let's make a test call and confirm it works. I have a fast busy on my side, so we're gonna to go to policies, we have two hits, and we're gonna to go to events, and you can see now that the action is block. And that's it. You now have a unified call policy and blocking platform across all your collab infrastructure. And if adding calls one by one seems a little tedious, we can also scrub those calls through third-party reputation filters, or let your users self-service and add their own blocks through native integrations. And really, call blocking was just the beginning. So check out some of my other videos to learn about the other cool things that you can do with call telemetry. And if you like what I'm building, give me a like, maybe a subscribe. Your feedback really helps shape the future of this product. Thanks. I'll see you next time.